In the How to Create a Custom Master Page video, we created a landscape right and landscape left master page. Let's take a look. View, Master Page. You'll see that we have a landscape right and a landscape left master page. If we were to zoom out by saying Fit Page in Window, you'll have a better view. We have a portrait right and left. We've also created a custom first page and we have a landscape right and a landscape left. Let's go back to the body page. View, body page. Now what we want to do is we want to create a paragraph tag that will be used to fire off an event that would apply the custom master page, landscape right or landscape left, depending on which page we've applied this master page tag. So what we could do is click into our document, hit enter, and let's create a landscape paragraph tag. If we hit apply, Frame will realize that it doesn't exist in our catalog and we can hit create. That's the fast way to do it. We want to have our paragraph tag landscape start at the top of each page. So let's click on start, top of page, and hit update all to update the paragraph tag landscape. So now the cursor is at the top of the page. What we want to do now is create a master page mapping table. To do that, we click on format, page layout, apply master page. FrameMaker will apply the mask there on the reference page or it'll create one for you so you can put in values if needed. Let's go to view reference pages. Scroll down to the bottom and what you see is unstructured master page mapping. This table is for an unstructured document. We will create a structured master page mapping table in a different video. So let's type in landscape, the name of the paragraph tag that we created, the name of the master pages for landscape right and left, so it's landscape right and landscape left. Now we want this to happen on a single page, but we have other options. Until changed means that if we applied the landscape page, it would continue to apply the right and left page until we had a separate paragraph tag that fired off a different master page. If we say span pages, that wraps around an object the master pages, right and left, depending on how far this object expands, like in a table. So in this particular case, we'll keep it as a single page. Let's go back to View, Body Page. Now this is where we put in the landscaped paragraph tag. Now what we want to do is let's zoom out so you can see it a little better. And we're going to apply the landscape master page based upon the paragraph tag, landscape. To do that, on a single document, we click on Format, Page Layout, Apply Master Page. As you can see, we have a landscape master page. We now have the ability to insert something that probably would only fit in a landscape master page. So I'm creating a basic table with five columns. As you can see, it would only fit in a landscape master page. Now if we add more content before this page, and I'll just hit a carriage return to make it flow to a different page, what you'll see is that the content flow to a portrait master page. Now that doesn't look right and we really do need the landscape page to move based upon this particular paragraph tag. To do that all we do is click on format, page layout, apply master page. And as you can see the master page changed based upon the paragraph tag and where it was located and the former page is now portrait. So basically, when you set this up, you apply a master, your master page mapping table before publishing, guaranteeing that all of your master pages are applied properly. 